obviously as we see like you know they've had tons of production issues for the and then, you know that's why they've now had to delay the the true finale so i'm glad at least we are getting that and i'm glad you know they did decide to delay because it sounds like they're really you know for lack of a better word killing themselves to make this show come out every single week yeah so um yeah um i don't know does anyone want to start with this week's episode uh, okay. okay, first off, does For anyone a- understand what's going on? Because nothing kind of makes sense. I was kind of expecting a, a better ending to the season, in a sense, like ending, right? So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was basically they just kind of reconfirmed the fact that there is a multi multiverse kind of ordeal going on. And then uh, in this episode, I meets her self from a different universe where she did kill herself. And uh, it looks like when you resurrect someone in this uh, egg world, they don't really necessarily come back. Um, so not sure why that's really a thing, but maybe they might be revived in a different world. Who knows? Yeah, there's definitely still a lot of open-ended questions and two kind of, you know, the very kind of extensive overview that we had last week, thanks to, you know, Taylor's detailed notes. Um, we did get at least a little bit more progression with uh, Frill in meeting the the final third buddy, or maybe there's one more. Again, I can't remember how oh, many are in this. Two. Four. Well, no, this one. So we have hyphen, dot, and then this one had like a super long name. I don't know, Taylor. Oh, great. Right. Yeah. You remembered? I know I was just like, she gave him like a nickname because he's like, oh, your name's too long. Like, you're going to be this person. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> so I think it was like Raraka or, or something like that. So yeah, something along those lines. Um, but it was but not, not our comma. No. Yeah, it didn't hold up with our <laughs> grammatical uh, naming <laughs> conventions, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, but no, I think. Who you really hit the nail on the head of the main focus of, you know, I encountering herself or her kind of different universe self of, you know, what happened to her when she didn't have Koito and she ended up, you know, committing suicide and didn't, you know, get involved in this this game and everything and making friends with the other three girls. Um, I think otherwise, at the beginning of the episode, we start to see now, you know, with the introduction of Frill and um, her kind of minions uh the girls are now kind of on different pages of what they're you know fighting for or what they really want to do moving forward because it seemed like at the beginning momoe was completely out she was just like this is all like stupid like you guys dragged me into this almost wanting to just use them as a, as a blame like she was like i never wanted to do this in the first place where then you have rika who is you know fully you know kind of fired up and wants to get revenge for what uh dot or hyphen did to to manon uh, her her familiar turtle so now we kind of have like that going on i mean i'm sure they're all going to come together in this final episode that comes out later this year to you know hopefully defeat you know whatever this greater evil is if it's you know frill is like the true antagonist um but i also well, feel it, like or yeah go ahead sorry. i was just gonna say hopefully it's a good resolution too because uh you know we only have one episode left and they I dropped know. a bunch of you dropped a bunch more stuff as well with this episode yeah because correct me if i'm wrong guys didn't wasn't there a part in this episode as well where like there was another kind of conflict of ideals between akka and ura akka weren't they weren't they saying something about like how i can't remember which one you know was the one that actually had the daughter with the the one other female scientist but i feel like there was a part where they were talking and he's like hey like are you still doing this for you know why we're trying to do this to defeat frill are you doing this because you want to try to attempt to bring back uh was it hina or i can't remember the name of the daughter that died that frill quote unquote killed uh I don't know, maybe i do remember them kind of clashing about some th- uh, about uh things again but uh, i'm not quite I, I don't remember exactly what it was or which yeah. like who was on which side of that yeah unfortunately my my notes were not as uh not as detailed for this week so <laughs> yeah I- uh, it's like overall, like I wasn't really expecting this type of episode, like how they set everything up. I thought that I thought it was a lot weaker than the previous episode because they dropped like I don't know. There's so many things that happened where like just like well, what like what the hell's happening? And then this was one of my least favorite things. I do not like. I, I don't care for multiverses. I don't care for time travel stuff. And like <laughs> once that dropped, I was like, oh my god, because that can be that can easily wipe away whatever it wants. It can rewrite whatever it wants. And I'm just like. Uh, it was yeah. the one one path I was hoping it wasn't going to take, but then it being an anime yeah. original with a very limited time left, it <laughs> sadly I, works the best. <laughs> I agree. 
So then is it safe to say when I was, you know, met her, her multiverse self and the, the like evil entity was the the teacher or the senpai? Um, the teacher. Was that the teacher? Yeah, the teacher. Uh, was that just the teacher from Eyes world where I is the one who committed suicide? Or do you think like in both worlds, suicide. like the teacher is still evil? Uh, like, so... Because so I feel actually, like it's trying to push heavy towards the teacher being like a complete scumbag or all doing things for ulterior motives. But I'm, I'm thinking now with these multiverses, like they're trying to say like, oh, in Eyes World where I committed suicide, he's a really horrible guy. But then mm. I don't know. What no, do think, I, I, yeah. I think, uh, I think these these enemies or these bosses, they're not actually what how that person was in in their world. It's what uh, the person that committed suicide thinks of them as. That's that's okay. basically how I took it. Uh, and like. We we like the thing that kind of bothered me the most this episode is the fact that we never got the answer of what happened between I and the teacher at the art exhibit, right? So mm -hmm. we don't really know what his true intention is. Is he really evil? Is he really a good guy? But as of right now, everything points to him like being a nice guy, and he really cares for I's mom, and they want to like get together and start a relationship. Mm -hmm. uh, so I can't really see uh, him being a bad person. And then just looking at how like this character was and what he was saying to like both eyes in the dream world, I really think that's not what they are or how they truly are in the real world. Well, I thought I thought a part of that was that they kind of covered it was um was wh what I was talking was telling her other eye self about like the teacher, um or the her current not 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 the non scumbag one or the one that we don't think is a scumbag yet. Um, I thought she was kind of like, like uh, when she was talking about like the them all to the other eye. I thought that was maybe kind of give a little bit of insight, like what kind of uh I was talking to her, the teacher about, without actually like telling us yet. Mm. Um, but I'm not sure. Uh, Taylor, any thoughts on the episode, or uh, what were your thoughts on this? Um, honestly, you guys pretty much caught most of what I had down for my notes. I really, really dislike, I mean, it's probably just a me thing, but I really dislike this um, method of having, like, like, the two different, like, the same character, two versions of them confronting each other. I just felt like in this episode, it was really confusing, and it lasted way too long to convey just, like, the point that there's a multiverse, and in one of those multiverses, she killed herself. I just felt like it took up a really large portion of the episode when I was really wanting to know what Ku mentioned earlier, which is what the teacher was going to say about her friend. Um, mm. I felt like that was one of the really big themes that still need to be wrapped up. And especially with how confusing it was with how he was portrayed as like the monster in this episode. Um, I mean, we're even talking about it right now. Does that mean that he was bad in the other universe, but good in this universe? Like it just, it just, it just felt like they could have cut a lot of that double eye time. and <laughs> explain yeah. some other things. I feel like they also kind of did Koito dirty with the double eye focus where like, you know, we're finally, we're potentially going to see, you know, that resolution between I and Koito and maybe get background into, you know, what truly pushed her over the edge if it was, you know, oh, yeah. their shared love for the teacher. But it, it was kind of that focus of like, I will had to, you know, let go of Koito to go and save her multiverse self. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I was just like, well, this, this kind of sucks. Like, well, Oh, and also, we also still don't know if all of these girls have actually been brought back to life. Yep. yep. No, As Ku mentioned, yeah, we don't know. Oh, sorry, yeah. I missed that. <laughs> oh, no, it's okay. Uh, but, so, uh, yeah. yeah. I don't know, guys. I, I hate this episode. <laughs> do you, do, do, <laughs> so, I don't... I'm pretty sure it's confirmed that even the episode coming out in June is just a 20-minute format oh, i don't think it's been given any like special hour long i could oh, be wrong though God. so don't take don't take that for you know uh sealed in stone so to speak but mm -hmm. do you think if you know it is only a 20 minute is uh one more episode even kind of enough i mean I no. think we, yeah right oh, we just hell no. so, yeah no. <laughs> so uh, it's just tough because they had something really great but it's like man yeah they, they just don't do have the time the, constraints the time. <laughs> i mean i don't know if it's even that right just the fact that like these guys are basically like the animators are basically working themselves to death. That could just be a reason why the story just took a like a downhill turn. Anime right? industry, anime industry, and project management. Yeah, so I, I feel like this is just one of those animes where it sets you up to have hope that it's going to be good. It's going to have closure, uh, and it's going to be fleshed out. To you're just going to get something that's half finished. So, um, I feel like 
I want to say the the episode that's coming out in June is probably going to make us more angry or make us want more because it's not going to be able to finish the the story in a sense. Unless it's longer than twenty minutes, unless right. it's like oh, an hour oh, special or something. Right. Even with an hour long special, I think it it might be like pushing it, but I think there's like a better chance. There's a better chance of it. I'm not, but I, I don't know. Uh, it seems like they're like it seems like nobody can even match up to like the hyphen and dot and all those people. Like it just yeah. seems like they have like no chance. So it's like really the only the only chance that what the show has done multiple times is the power of friendship. So that could easily override it. I'm just used to like the shonen ones where they have to train when that has mm-hmm. nothing to do with this one, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I agree. And I feel like I mean, ultimately as well, they're probably gonna end up selling a lot of the other girls' stories short. And yeah. they're probably just gonna focus on I. Yeah, I, I did actually, I still kind of gave like the show a little bit of a higher score just because like it, I mean, it was, I think, fairly unique. Um, and also, I mean, it looked nice. Every like music was good. Like everything is just kind of just, I'm still going to, I probably will still wait just to see how it, everything just kind of resolves itself before I come back to this and see if I need to dock it. <laughs> but we'll see. Yeah, I gave it a seven because I feel like last week's episode was still really good. Like it just it was. was not at all what I was expecting. Like I, I was super interested, in, even though I feel like it kind of flubbed the next bit. Like it's pretty hard for me to get like that invested in like a one episode introduction of some new concepts. So I have to give it some credit for that. <laughs> and then of course, right. everything else you said, I mean, it's just such a beautiful anime. I feel like you can really tell there was so much passion put into this. Like I think it physically hurts to, to, to score it too low. <laughs> Well, yeah. They, they also like also just in general, this anime had so many like good points, but they didn't like they didn't really commit like to a lot of them. Like there was a lot of like issues where they or a lot of things or issues that they brought up, but they didn't like fully go into it. They just it was just kind of like a surface level, like a surface mm-hmm. level skim, and then they just moved on to the next thing. Which I, I feel like if it was a little bit of a longer show, that they could have you know dove a little bit more into that, but into the. Well, yeah, they wouldn't have even had to have introduced like all of these characters. Like, really, if they wanted it to be about this gigantic, you know, multi-dimensional story, just have it be about I. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, That is a fair point, too. Yeah, they could have easily just made it to, oh, you complete your job. Yay, they're going to be resurrected now. Uh, Happy ending for everyone, right? Yeah, we could have got there (laughs) way faster, too, probably. We didn't need to have so many filler, like. (laughs) But it is what it is. Yeah. We're here, and now all we can do is see what they do with this, this special edition so yeah. multiverse so less of a disappointment than promise neverland <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, well, i don't think Ooh. i don't think we get close there <laughs> a low blow so, but we'll talk about this blow. again in june yeah yes all right i guess as much as a wrap up as we can for wonder egg priority yeah shout outs to all the animators can't do much yeah. thank yes. you again cloverworks for really creating a beautiful piece of work it's like you know just the yes. unfortunate part of the, you have so many things going on that we're interested to see what you'll do with the extra time and hopefully the the recuperation